Hello and welcome to my new video. Today our topic is introduction to traumatology and orthopedics. But before starting traumatology, we have to know about what is trauma. What is mean by the word trauma? So in medical, the word trauma means any sudden, any terrible event occurred to the life of a person and leads to cause damage and disturbance in the person's life physically by causing injury and fractures as well as mentally by disturbing his social life. So trauma means disturbing physically by causing injuries and fractures while mentally by disturbing his social life. This is known as trauma. The trauma may be due to any accident, may be due to any natural disaster like earthquake, like flood, uh, any fall, etc. And even it, it is maybe due to the death of any beloved one. It means any said event can cause trauma. So what trauma means? Any event which disturbs the person's life physically and mentally. While traumatology, traumatology is the branch of medical science or branch of uh, surgery in which we deal with the treatment and management of these injuries and fractures caused by any trauma. So traumatology is the branch of medical science in which we manage and treat the injuries and fractures caused by any trauma is known as traumatology. While orthopedics, ortho means straight and pedics mean child, so straight child. But according to definition, orthopedic is the field in which the doctor or healthcare professional deals with your musculoskeletal system. I mean your bones, your joints, ligaments, tendons and associated nerves etc. So orthopedic is the field in which the doctor focuses on injuries and fractures of musculoskeletal system I mean bones and ligaments, joints etc. So generally in traumatology and orthopedic the doctor deals with fracture and injuries of the bone. So what is mean by the word fracture? Fracture. Fracture means any break come in continuation of the structure of the bone due to any applied force. Like for example we have structure of the bone and we applied any force and there is break come. So this break is known as fracture. Due to applied force the break is come, this break is known as fracture. This fracture may be narrow and uh, small in size is like the human hair. And it may be voided and severe like the bone may be break down into two or more than two pieces. So this is fracture. Then we have types of fractures. So we have types of fracture, simple or closed fracture. Simple or closed fracture means if there is fracture or injury but we didn't see or we didn't feel it externally. Like for example we have the hand, there is fracture but on external skin there isn't any injury, there isn't any wound or anything else. So it is called external fracture. I mean the bone is injured or fracture but we didn't feel or didn't see it externally. So this is simple or closed fracture. While open or compound fracture is opposite. If there is injury to the bone or fracture to the bone and the external skin is also damaged. We have wound, we have bleeding or we have any injury to the external skin as well is known as open fracture. And simply an open fracture there is wound or rupture of the skin externally while in simple fracture there isn't any rupture of the skin. In open or compound fracture we need urgent emergency treatment. Then we have incomplete fracture. Incomplete fracture means if there is fracture in a one end, like if we have the bone, there is two end, uh, proximal and distal. So if there is fracture on distal or proximal side, I mean one side, one cortex or one end is damaged. So this is known as incomplete fracture. While complete fracture is opposite, if there is damage or rupture to the entire body of the bone, this is known as complete fracture. Then we have pattern based fracture, I mean spiral fracture, transverse fracture, oblique fracture, uh, butterfly fractures and community type fractures. Uh, you will see the image here. This, these are the types of fractures. Then there is another terminology related to the fracture which is known as dislocation. Dislocation means a complete loss of contact between the two ends of joint and ligaments is known as uh, dislocation like we have elbow joint here here two bones are connected if the contact between these two bones is lost completely so this is known as dislocation the dislocation may be acquired and genetically genetically we know that 
its uh, deformity or abnormality by birth were acquired dislocation is due to trauma so the trauma also can cause so the trauma can cause fracture injury as well as dislocation then we have another terminology which is known as subluxation subluxation means the partial loss of contact between two end of joints so in dislocation this is complete loss while in subluxation there is a partial loss of contact between two ends of joints and uh, bones so till now we study everything about orthopedic and trauma orthopedics traumatology uh, fractures dislocation etc now we'll talk about how to manage the patient with fracture and injuries so if the patient come first of all we have to take the history in which we will able to know about the patient we will to know about the injury and uh, fracture etc and we will know about the symptoms the symptom may be different in every patient but the few common symptom of fractures are there will be pain in the injury area there will be swelling there will be deformity in tenderness and the common thing is the patient will unable to move that part after symptoms and history we have to investigate the patient the investigation are of two type clinical and instrumental in clinical investigation we have to do physical examination of the patient we will follow the formula feel look and move we will look at the patient we will look at the injury area we will look either there is any artery or nerve is affected either the injury is a single injury or multiple area are affected and we will check the associated part of that injury and we will like we will examine the patient physical examination we will inspect the patient we will palpate if needed and everything which we have physical techniques we will apply on the patient by physical examination so after physical examination or clinical investigation we will able to diagnose the patient but for confirmation of this diagnosis we have to do some instrumental test like x ray mri ct scan etc for the confirmation of these diagnosis so after investigation we have the final diagnosing after diagnosing we will go to treatment treatment is of two types conservative and operative 